Caddis Maximus here. I happen to have a Stanley number 66. These are a brass and boxwood folding rule. Stanley was by far the largest manufacturer, although there are a few other manufacturers. These are from a bygone era, 1900s era. These were essentially the standard woodworking rule. They were actually quite well made, mostly handmade. I mean, they're machine sanded, for, which actually gives them quite a bit of accuracy. They have really good tolerances. They are surprisingly accurate, especially uh, over distances compared to this. Most of those come in shorter lengths, although I ended up with a 36-inch or a yardstick, and that's all they are is a uh, quad folding rule. You have two brass hinges here. You can just fold it out, and then you have a center hinge, and that's all they are. They have a distinct advantage of being able to re reach in the tight spaces. They're very rigid over uh, distances, so you can get uh, nice measurements over a longer distance, say, compared to this, or measuring tapes are actually pretty good. That's one of the reasons they're the standard. And that's one of the reasons why these aren't around anymore. It isn't just the cost, because if you think about it, if Stanley can get $50, $70 out of these today, they'd still be making them. There's no question about that. They just don't hold up so easy for you to drop and just totally damage or ruin the hinge step on them sit on them etc they are really surprisingly delicate they're always losing parts like they had this one and most of them have a little alignment pin to prevent them from uh wobbling back and forth but you're always impacting it when you're opening and closing it and inevitably those pins get lost these aren't a lot of uh, antique tools. Some antique malls think these things are worth, even on eBay. Some people are trying to get a couple $300, but most go for around 20 bucks. It's about what they're worth. They really are niche. Today's uses would be more for furniture making or a cabinet shop, something where you could take care of it. And you really do want uh, pretty accurate measurements, but with just more of a classic tool. Just a nice weight to it. As we can see, it's brass on all the wear surfaces. The box, box which is just inlaid. If we look at the hinge, nice pinning. It's all steel pins. Really just nice craftsmanship. Essentially, like I said, handmade. Certainly hand assembled and hand nailed. We do have these two hinges here, and those are pretty nice looking. We have their multi-layer. This is a three position. They make wider, narrow ones. As like I said, this is a 66 and three quarters. Some of them are much thicker and they'll have more uh, hinge pins in there. Craftsman and a few other manufacturers have even made some pretty specialty ones. Uh, such as having integrated bubble levels, having an angle finder where they have a little metal piece that slides out and interacts with the end of the rule. And so as you open and close to a particular angle, you can measure it. And so there were some innovations. These really were pretty darn accurate. Some people don't think they're particularly accurate. They're actually pretty stunning, usually plus or minus 10 thousandths of an inch. Um, they're really pretty good. You know, advantages they have is they're pretty rigid. When you have them unfolded like this, you can get a nice, and particularly like on this one, which is a yard uh, folding yardstick, uh, is the fact that you get a very accurate measurement because it doesn't deflect. You do have the back side, which is totally flat, so you can get it flush against surfaces. That's one of the... And I mean, those are some advantages over what we say, like this Lufkin, more modern folding rules, although they just don't have the versatility as more modern folding rules. This is a lot more durable. This isn't going to be destroyed if you drop it. This thing uh, could easily be destroyed as you drop it. Um, Stanley could have done even a hundred years ago or more. Uh, lacquer's been around for a couple of centuries, and they could have easily lacquered it so that the wood would have held up. Because you know this is an okay patina, but we can see that the markings on the Stanley are actually really pretty light. And wish Stanley would have done um, deeper markings that uh, a little bit more visible. So Adam Savage did a video where he has a few of these, uh, and he likes them, and I like them too. So I decided to do my little take on them, mostly out of focus, but sometimes in focus. <laughs> these are just a bygone era, and they're in this niche, just basically because of their, their delicacy. They just are too easily bent and damaged. And something that used to be a standard 
uh, in a bygone era was just because it seemed to be what made sense. It was easier for them to do that or do this than to come out with a variety of the stamped metal parts, even to make a more modern uh, folding rule. And certainly as compared to a tape measure, because as we all know, tape measures have proven to be uh, what they are. Very accurate. Stanley even came out with uh, the power lock, which is just a, an institution. Because you get versatility and durability and compactness. And range. 30 feet versus 3 feet. I mean, this can measure 10 times the distance. And then, of course, that was just enabled by more efficient manufacturing. Is one better than the other? No, not in particular. This was just something, or 100 years ago, this is what made sense but in reality there's actually much better tools and that's kind of that is why these fell by the wayside because you just say you know do i want to pay 50 bucks for a a folding yardstick uh, or am i going to get a tape measure where i can actually use it on a whole variety of different projects and not have to uh baby the thing so i understand why they went by the wayside but they are still really neat they hark back to an era of just of craftsmanship and uh, detail. Really, just excellent quality. Like on this one, the hinges are still pretty good. They're not loose. Still have a bit of stiction, so they don't flop around. Definitely a neat uh, little item to add to the tool collection. Before I forget, I wanted to, I completely forgot to mention Happy uh, Thanksgiving. As happy as people could uh, have it, if you do participate in. Uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving. Very strange uh, holidays. And so just wanted to mention, you know, I hope you had as uh, successful time as possible. Happy time. Hopefully you got to, you know, see family and weren't in another lockdown or anything like that. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.